Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson. And what are we gonna chat about today? Empty shelves, high prices, what's happening here in New Jersey? Oh my word, what is going on? Okay, so welcome to my channel for all my new subscribers. I'm so glad you guys have joined and are excited. I'm excited too. So what is going on? What is going on? I want to, I want to find out what's going on with you guys. How are you faring? So I'm going to, I did a little investigative work. Now I like doing homework for you guys because I think out of all fairness, you want to know, you want to be in the know, you want to know what's happening. And I want to present it to you in a truthful way, not on a slanted way and not in a negative way. So here's the scoop. So first, let me tell you, before I tell you about New Jersey and the prices and the empty shelves and what in the world is going on here, I did a little investigative work. Actually, my husband did it. I did a little, I did a little. Graham did most of it. So we have a lot of family and friends that live in around the world. So I'm gonna list off some of the areas and then we're gonna talk about it. So Australia, Ireland, uh, England, Prince Edward Island, Canada, California, San Francisco, and LA suburb area, Seattle, Washington, Iowa, Ohio, Michigan, a couple places in Florida, two places in Washington, D.C. area, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, oh my goodness, Virginia, Tennessee. Okay, I think that's everything I can remember, I, and I might have missed a few, but that'll give you an idea of how many places we put the word out and said, how are the prices and how are the shelves? How's the food supply? 100% everybody said the prices have gone up on most things. Fair enough. We asked about food supply, the food chain, and empty shelves. So we had one family member in Maryland area said that they have noticed some of the brands that they like to get have been sparse or empty in that particular brand. But that's not to say there was an alternative brand that they were able to purchase. We had family member outside of the San Francisco area that pretty much said the same thing. Everybody else that we talked to, and I'm telling you, this is around the world and around the United States, said the shelves are looking okay. Why do I bring this to your attention? I know the curiosity of all of us. I, I'm just, I keep hearing about empty shelves and I see people posting these empty shelves. I'm not arguing the fact that some of you might have that. I'm not arguing the fact that it could be coming, but I just think that for the moment, I wanted to take a deep breath and just realize that we're not in dire straits. Now that's not to say there's going to be changes. There's not to say things like that, but for right now, let me tell you about the state of New Jersey. So for various reasons, I never do this. This is not my norm. So don't everybody jump on the bandwagon and say, what are you doing? I have been to eight stores in five days. I, I never do this. I never. I shouldn't say never. Once every 10 years, maybe this happens, but it just, I needed to get to one or two stores that my mom needed to get to a couple of stores, that my mom needed to get to a couple more stores, and then we just decided to go to a store or two. So with that being said, three Walmarts, two Dollar Generals, ShopRite, um, I forget, I forget, I forget. Dollar Tree, we did three, I think Dollar General was twice, ShopRite was once, Walmart was three. And in all of that, I went to some five minutes from my house, some 20 minutes from my house, and some 45 minutes from my house. Now, 
I investigated, I went and looked. Because we're doing the challenge of the $7 for nine meals, it even prompted me even more so. Even though I normally take my mom, take her to the store she needs, and I sit in the car, I decided to get out and let me do some looking. I wanted to see, honestly, how sparse are the shelves. I wanted to see where do we stand with prices. I wanted to see what is the variety of things so we went to our local Walmart to us. It's about 20 minutes, 22 minutes away. And we went there and there was no sign of shortages at all. I mean, if you went in an area, it maybe looked like somebody bought some cans of tuna. It wasn't like it was 100% full, but I'd say the overall store was probably 90% full maybe even a higher percentage than that. I went in the curtains, I went in the craft department, I went in automotive, I went in home decor, I went in grocery, I went in produce, I went in meats, I went the fish department, I went in the dairy department, I looked everywhere. I know everybody's complaining they can't get good buys. Let me stop you right there. I agree and I disagree. Now. Just in a general run in, grab a few things, come out, you got to make dinner, whatever. You're not going to find really good buys. And those are the types of moments that are going to probably force you to pay a higher price. But if you can go and take your time and look around, Walmart especially had great meat markdowns. I was like, wow, these are, I mean, a package, what did I get? A package of, actually, I'll post a picture at the end of this. I want to say it was six, five, six, or seven pork chops, somewhere around that, for $5.42. Now, where there's only three of us in the family, that, I can really stretch that. I don't have to give one pork chop per person. We could have half a pork chop and I could use less than half that package, I can stretch that package out. Remember, one package of meat for one week. I can do some pork chops, I can do some fried rice, I can do, I don't know, like a stir fry and cut the meat up smaller. So one package of meat for $5.42, I don't even know if you can get a McDonald's Happy Meal or something like that for that price for one meal, and this is gonna do dinners for six nights for us. That's a pretty good deal. I found a lot of markdowns. I was really pleased with that for the meat department. I don't really need any meat, but I did get the pork chops and one or two other packages of meat because the prices were so good. I noticed in the bakery department, they had a lot of things marked down to a dollar, dollar something, and that was a good deal. Um, a lot of clearance on clothing. So if you're in the need of clothing, they had candles. Now they were fall candles. They're somewhere on my table here. I don't know where they are, but they were nice big candles for $2 and 50 cents. And they had fall something. It was like a gray tinted candle. If you, in case you're looking, they had uh, pumpkin spice and they had, I think it was apple mulling spice, something like that for $2.50. So either you stock up on candles just because you need to stock up on them for the stockpile, it's good to have candles, or you plan ahead, the fall will be here in a few months and you've got your candles all ready to go and you've got them at a discounted price. So I went to all these stores. I went to a store today, a Walmart new to me, 45 minutes away from my house. It blew my mind. On my personal Facebook page, I put, if I don't, you know, surface in the next three days, you might want to come and find me. I could pitch a tent in that store for three days and not have shopped everything in that store. There was not, I have never been to a super center Walmart like this one. It was amazing. Amazing. There wasn't anything there I could not find. I needed shoes for my husband and son. I found them. I needed shorts for my son. I found them. I looked for uh, markdowns. I found them. I looked in their craft department. I don't have to go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby for the amount and size of the craft department here. I looked at the planner stuff. They had plenty. I looked at Pioneer Women. I love that. All the things that you see other people talk about, it was kind of like all rolled up into this one store. Then I decided, okay, I'm going in. I'm going to look at the groceries. 
There was plenty of everything. There were no shortages. There were great meat markdowns. I had a huge sex section of that. And I had to laugh. Now here's perspective. Okay, I personally felt like whatever I needed, it was at my beck and call, everything. It was wonderful. They even had a lot of things there in terms of food that I have never seen at the two Walmarts in my area. I have four Walmarts, two 20 minutes away and an additional two 30 minutes away in each direction. So four total. They didn't have probably half, even a third of what this Walmart had. I was so excited and I ran into somebody that I know from, she's a guest to where, uh, where I work and she was walking around. She says, oh, it's just terrible today. They're just, they're, you know, there's empty spots and I just can't find anything I need. And I kind of went in my head going, what? I could not begin to tell you how much product, produce, meat, dairy, cheese, cookies, baked goods, canned goods, you name it, that they had stocked at this Walmart. Toilet paper, paper towels, filled to the rafters, no problem whatsoever in finding anything you need. And yet she said to me, I can't find anything. I thought, where are you looking? Where are you looking? Now I know everybody has a different perspective and please hear it from my lips to your ears. I am not saying there are not shortages in your area. What I am saying is in five days, I've been to eight stores and I have found everything that I need and it has not been a devastating, you know, mind-blowing trip to any of these stores to say there's nothing there. I don't know what the future holds, but as a Christian, I know who holds the future. And I know not all of you are faith-based, but I can tell you that. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I'm not a prophet and none of us are. None of us know what tomorrow is going to bring. We don't know if there's going to be a storm. We don't know what's going to happen. But I can tell you this, for today, we are okay. I want you to breathe today and just to know that some of these people that are the doom and gloom type people are definitely out to get extra likes and extra this and extra that. And I, I don't want to get political on you with, with how some of this stuff works on channels like this. But I do want to tell you that in New Jersey, we are okay for right now. And I was excited. I was excited that I could get what I wanted. I was excited that the music was playing in the stores and people were shopping and we were getting out and about and doing what we wanted to do. It was fantastic. So I just want to encourage you to know that for today we are okay. And you know what? None of us know what the future holds. If you haven't started a stockpile, I've got plenty of videos on how to start one. Jan from New York City has plenty of videos on how to start one. Check out her channel. I'm going to give her a shout out. Tammy, my friend Tammy from um, Let's Go to Tammy's House. Check out her channel. She could use some love. She's got some great ideas. She lives in, oh, I'm going to say Georgia or Alabama, somewhere down south. And she's talked about the prices. And she gets some unique things that I don't get for the stockpile. So check out her videos as well. See and look for some great tips and how to's on how you can start a stockpile and know that right now is the time to stock up because the prices have increased, but there are still buys out there. The shelves are not empty. They might be sparse for certain products, but they're okay. We're going to be okay. We're going to do this together. We're going to stick together. We're going to make it. Catch you all on the next video.